All right guys, so I ran into this issue with my iPhone where the screen keeps turning off and on. You see the Apple logo keeps flashing. So there's a few solutions. Now, the one I found to be most common to work is, so you're gonna do a hard reset. Now, if you have the iPhone XS or one without the home button, such as 11, 12, 13, 14, then in that case, you're gonna press volume up, volume down and then hold the power. Now you're gonna do this quickly. So again, volume up, volume down, and hold the power. And you're gonna keep holding the power for 20 seconds. Just the power, not the volume buttons. You're going to hold it for the full 20 seconds, so I suggest counting or letting you go at the same time I do. Okay, so it's almost been 20 seconds, so I'm just gonna let go and just wait a few seconds. Then turn it back on, just press the power. You should see the Apple. Unfortunately, this did not work for me because it's still in the boot loop. Okay, so for the next solution. For the next solution, you're gonna charge your iPhone. And this wait about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes, gonna unplug it. And once again, we're gonna do volume up, volume down, and power. And make sure you hold the power for 20 seconds. So try to time it. And then let go. All right, so let's wait a few seconds and press the power. If this works for you, then congrats, but unfortunately it's not gonna for me. So onto the third solution. For the third solution, you're gonna need iTunes on a computer. So just open iTunes. Once iTunes is open, just plug in your iPhone. With your iPhone, once again, do volume up, volume down, and hold the power. Hold for 20 seconds and then let go. Okay, now this message came up on iTunes where it says I'll need to update or restore. Restoring is gonna factory reset your iPhone back to the original settings before you bought it. Uh, it's gonna erase everything. So I definitely recommend trying to update it first. And again, press update. Press agree. At the top of your computer, you'll see it's updating. All right, so I had this error message saying it did not work, unfortunately. So uh, if this happens, then unplug your iPhone. Then plug it back in and you'll see this message saying your iPhone can't be updated and it needs to be restored uh, to the factory settings. What this means is all the data on it uh, that was not backed up through iCloud is gonna be deleted, which I know is really unfortunate for most people, uh, including myself. So if you really uh, need the data, then I recommend going to the Apple store and see if they can get it back. But I'm gonna press on restore because that can be expensive and uh, there's no guarantee they can get it back. Okay, so even this did not work for me. Uh, I have the error message saying it can't be restored so the final solution is to Google the error message. For me, it's 4013, which means that there's a hardware issue and the phone's gonna need to be opened up and fixed that way. Uh, there are some online guides on how to do that, but I'm not that tech savvy, so I'm gonna try bringing the Apple. Hopefully you didn't make it to the end of this video like I did, but good luck and tell me in the comments what you end up doing. All right guys, hope this helped out.